know, re relive all this. It gets emotional. Luckily, I, I got the opportunity for this. If it wasn't for this hospital, I probably, you know, I wouldn't be here. tough to do but it's you know it's a physically emotionally draining but it's an opportunity to, to live again and it's there yeah, hopefully people will be aware that the options are, are, are out there to have that done not just a standard lung transplant but like for COVID victims we try to not jump into this we try to watch people and assess whether their their condition is actually progressing and deteriorating or if it's just not improving fast enough not improving fast enough is probably not a great reason to go through a lung transplant but if you need a transplant it can be uh, truly a life-saving miracle The first criteria that we apply to patients is, are they recovered from COVID? If, if we think that they still have active replicating virus in there, uh, we don't want to immunosuppress them. And it's necessary to immunosuppress someone pretty heavily after a lung transplant. We have, we have really one criteria to consider a transplant. And that criteria is, will it do you more good than harm? And if that's the case, we will give strong consideration to a transplant. My lungs, you know, they were getting ready to probably stop working soon at that point. So it was kind of an emergency thing. I just thank everybody for what they've done for me and give me a second opportunity. Thank God, you know, I'm, I'm here now and I got an opportunity to live again. Thank you.